Right. Take a photo of it. It's a bit faded, isn't it? Yeah. No, but, is it? but I can pull it right forward. You want to have a look? Come see. On this. I can just close in. On. And then you can read everything. Now this is the playing field. So you can see all the different different places and when you see it on the television yes. it's very yeah. clear and the sound is good so it really has grown you are here that's what the arrow says no doubt That's Dr. Graham's homes. The plan. Right, just heading all the way up here. Right up there. Way up. Right up to the top, to the school. That's me puffing and panting away, <sighs> having just climbed up the hill, which is right down there somewhere. Dr. and Mrs. Graham, founder of the Dr. Graham Homes. Picture. Now we'll just go around the office. By the way, this is Sean Calvert, the headmaster's office. All the trophies going back goodness knows how long. I see Ruth has disappeared. No, Ruth is down. Uh, oh. This is Margaret down. Oh, Margaret, right. Margaret Would you like to read? Well, she can stay on her. Ma'am? All the trophies, my gosh. These are all inter school or? These are all uh, inter school and uh, some of them, some of them there are the inter cottage uh, trophies. Right. And they like the, um, they like the eagle it seems. Right, and here we have the school banner and as you can see the tiger which was one of Jim Corbett's great um, adversaries. The man eaters of Comorn and the man eater of Rudra Parag. And if you notice the motto, the same as bishops in Pune, Sarah. And there we have Sean at his desk. And um, Sean took over from Frank Fries. No, uh, no. I, I took over from Mr. Fuller. Oh, you, oh, I see. And he went to principal. Right, and then and then they come in. And now helping Sean is Margaret Dunlop. Margaret, framed in her window. Margaret, hello there. <laughs> Nothing to be shy about. 
Right, as we go around the office, more trophies. There's another great big athletics trophy there. And see how nice and tidy all the drawers and and some more trophies. Gosh. Have these all reached their sort of um, yes. their end they sort of thing? They don't progress from one year to the few, next. No, there are a few here that, yeah, that keep progressing. They go from one year to the other. And then <coughs> on the world map, which my three-year-old daughter, granddaughter can now pick out India, Australia, yes. Spain, England, and now she's going to be learning about Kalimpong, which is up there. Uh, where are we? Calcutta, Ganges, Mount Everest, Kathmandu. Somewhere up there is Kalimpong. Yeah, Ganges, we've got there. Bangladesh, no, it's somewhere there. Where that last red dot is. Here we are. What is this area, Robert? The school field. The school field, it is. Right, and that building in front? Central kitchen. Central kitchen, where we eat Central kitchen, right. And they eat upstairs? Upstairs and downstairs. Eh? Both upstairs and downstairs. Okay. And the next building? It's the Crozier Club. The Crozier Club. That's for the staff. The right, staff. the Crozier Club. Crozier, that's a famous name in British history in Calcutta. It's, it's named after a, a, a person called Crozier. Oh. Yeah. And this one here, the next little one? It's the library on top. The library. Museum down, there. museum down there. And then this one here? It's a new building where we have our classes. Right. Yeah. This, it's called the Betty Sheriff, uh, Betty Sheriff Block. And the top is called the Jane Pratt Floor. Jane Pratt? Jane Pratt. Betty Sheriff. Right. And the Jane Pratt floor. There's all the kids enjoying the sunshine. And here's me overdressed now with overcoat and God knows what on. But it's not that cold now, but it was yesterday. Very cold. Right. Moving on from that block, we have the middle school. Up to class six, is that right, Robert? Yeah, up to class eight. Up to class eight. Darjeeling out in the distance. We move along the middle school. There's the church up on the hill, which we'll be going to. And here we have Calcutta Cottage. This is Eton College. Heatland. Heatland. Yeah, Cottage. Ah. So not Eton, as in Windsor. And from here, we've got to walk all along this road, right round there to Hart's Cottage, somewhere around the bend, is it, Robert? Yes. So lovely trees everywhere. Right, from Heathland. Go to Bell House. Bell House down there. The clothing department. Clothing department. And Fraser Hostel. And Fraser. Boys. Fraser Hostel. Plus 10 and above. Is that you? No, I'm in Willingdon. Willingdon. And still a long way to go. Onward, ever onward. Down there is Hart Cottage, my old stomping ground, if you want to call it that. 
I can't remember what it looked like. But there it is. And I was right, it was on a plateau. But I don't think uh, you can see Kenshin Junga from there. Now this dry bed right now, during the monsoon, is probably a raging torrent and goes right down there and it's known as Heart Stream under the bridge all the way down and probably goes and joins the river Tista for all you know, which is the main river around this side. Nice lawn, haven't they? Those boys must be hard working. Here we are on the lawn of Hart Cottage. And uh, here's a shortcut down to the road. Probably didn't exist in our day, this road. And here are some of the people that helped to keep Hearth Cottage. Yeah, looking as nice as it is. Right, let's see if the inside. cottage trying to obtain entry nobody there Robert no, somebody coming all the um, flower garden because they have a competition Robert says who has the best garden so all the shoots are there I see the name is spelt H-A-R-T not H-E-A-R-T so there goes another one of my theories and who do we have here now? Well, I'm in charge of the cottage at the moment. Right. My name is Mr. Pandy. Mr. Pandy, right. And I am I am an old old, old homes boy as well. Right. I passed out from here in 1980. Right. And now I'm looking after the cottage as well as working in the school also. This used to be my old yeah. place. Yeah. Robert told me that. 1942 I left, I would think. But I've just seen another thing that's different to what I thought. I thought it was H E A R T. H E A R T. So that's an animal. H A R T. We come all this way and look who's here. Michael Owen. What's he? Manchester United, is he? No. Or Liverpool? Yeah, so much I know about football, you see. I got the wrong. You look a bit like him, you know? I got a lot of England. I'm, I'm you got a lot of England. Of England for football. Oh. football is concerned. What I should have done was brought my flag here and we could have hung it up and taken a picture of us. Maybe look at those polished steps. How many thousands of boys have been up these stairs over the years. Still beautifully polished, just look at that. Like I say, I used to think it was a long room, but uh, I was wrong again, wasn't I? Oh, now we're all green now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Very nice. Spick and span. All the posters. Don't mean much to me, all these things, double team and <laughs> very nice. Small boy stay here, yeah? class five and below. 
the small dormitory. Yes. Twenty of them here. Yes, sir. All wanting to be Arnold Schwarzeneggers. There he is, old Arnie. Senior boy. They'll be shifting into the hostel in a couple of days. Uh -huh. So, oh, till, the ICSC, till the ICSC goes, right. they'll be staying over here with us for a few days. Here's the view. You would like me to open the window? No, no, that's fine. You can see out. Nice view outside. He's still having his lunch, enjoying the sunshine, the foothills of the Himalayas in the distance, Darjeeling over the top there somewhere. Right, as you can see, these floors are see, reflecting the red light. Yeah, how beautiful. That's one thing I, do, I did get right, is how beautifully polished all these floors are. See the, the light from the window reflecting. Right. Each boy has his own little yes. cubby hole. Yes. The mirror. What a shame I'm. Um, I've still got a long way to go. Otherwise, I could have left these marvelous shoes to the best achieving athlete you've got. Oh, who is this here? Best achieving athlete. And they got a nice table tennis table as well to boot. And uh, meals and cook our meals. And all right, and who does all that? My wife. Oh, it's just for you and them. Um, yes, at the moment it's just the two of us. Mm -hmm. And is that a gas? Uh... Uh, the, the, the two on the top are not gas, they are stoves okay. run by Wicks with Kioi. Oh, I see. And as you know that these are not functioning anymore. Oh, the Argus. Yeah, the old ones are not functioning. These are not functioning. They were what, coal or something before? Yes, we used to use with coal yeah. ovens. But there's no coal or no wood? No. We don't use them anymore because everything is done in the sea, in the central kitchen now. So yeah. Children. Also better for the environment. <laughs> Too many little fires. <laughs> and they have nice big stoves and all that. Yes. I see the name there, Rayburn. That's a good British yes. name. Rayburn. I think if you read it underneath, you'll say it's somewhere from England. <coughs> Here's the sitting room. And of course, there's Dr. Graham. And a few of the trophies that were won by Hearts. This is Whiston. And I met a boy yesterday who came for some plants. And who's over there? Leblanc. Yes. Ah, good. We'll meet them. Look up the hill. It's Delo right on top. Delo Hill. Yeah. Yes. Is that the good view for Kenshin Junga up there? Yeah. And you can see the reservoirs, there's three reservoirs. Oh gosh, we've got to go up there. And maybe I have to go up there, five in the morning or something, for sunrise. And then it'll probably be cloudy. But mustn't be pessimistic. Always think positive, right? Yes. Now this is the garden of? Wiston. Wiston uh, House. And the home of the Leblonts. Yes. Have I pronounced it right? Yes, Leblonts. So they do have a nice little garden. I can see that when it comes up, it'll look very nice indeed. This is the wrong time of the year. Not even spring. More hills. Anyway, what message have you got to give your little girl there? 
just wanted to write and give us news about herself. Right. Okay, tell her. I'm going to switch on. Right. Uh, one minute. There. You want to tell her? I'll tell you what. Let's go this side. That'd be better. No. Tell her now. Should I give her the message? Yes, yes. Okay, well, Lindsay, please write home. We're so worried about you. What else? We love you. We miss you. We want to know more and more about you. Be well and happy. Now she's getting on in Nava. Uh, well, we hope you're getting on well. And uh, being happy there. Working hard. Well, Terry's also here and he misses you a lot. So please write. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well, Valencia, you see what your mum's done with your recipe. Tell her. Well, I made two cakes, beautiful cakes, which you'll be soon seeing the pictures of. And uh, sorry, you're not here to taste it. Mm -hmm. This is what we made for the anniversary. The two th um, the 100 years, isn't it? Uh, 24 years. <laughs> 24. Oh, so your anniversary. Our 24th oh. uh, anniversary. And we hope she'll be here for the next one because it'll be 25th. 25th mm. year. Because how old is Valencia? About 23? She's 23. Mm. Yeah. I'll say it again. She's Sorry. a beautiful girl. She can only see the cake and can't taste it. Mm. <laughs> well, here's the cake, Valencia. Take a good look at it. And I've just eaten some. And so is Robert, and we're both still standing. So. <laughs> Let's see if he takes another piece. There, now see, now if that isn't true, uh, if that doesn't say it's good, well, I don't know what does. And I think I'll have another piece too. Weston. And Weston is looked after. by Valencia's mum and dad. Right, we've already seen the garden. We'll go in inside now. Right, here we are again. Beautifully polished floors. The stairway to, stairway to paradise. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> right, the study room. Nice big study room here, isn't it? compared to poor old heart. Here we have the sitting room. Lots of cups they've got. Big shield. And sports championship. Hmm. Dumb waiter, but no drinks. This is the study room for the seniors. A couple of tigers on the wall. What's this? Dressing room. Dressing room. All got their own mugs. So Valencia will recognize all this. Yeah, this is where the juniors keep their things and mm -hmm. that's of course the seniors. The shoe room <coughs> or the chapel room I would say. <coughs> that's all, the youngsters. all neat and tidy. Very nice. That's the dining room. Again with the Rayburn. Does it work? No. No, the is Because it's all Everything's done from the other place, just like in Heart Cottage. This is a new item which Valencia hasn't seen yet. Your fridge? Yes, she hasn't seen this. Anything in it? Um, <laughs> oh, they all got the same colors too. And is green uh, is the color of Wiston too. So yeah, same as Heart.
Oh, this lovely wooden Tips are kept here for marking. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have all. Yeah, they say in the monsoons they need them, wouldn't they? Right, we got to take, say hello to Valencia. Hmm? What do you want to say to her? Right, tell Valencia whatever you hello, want to Candace. say. Hello, You don't like to write her. Why? What's happened? <laughs> So boring when I go to get an email. I don't get any email. Right there. Yeah. Do you have email here? Yes, we have. In this cottage? No, we have to go down to town. Oh, down to town. Yes. Does she know your email address? Hmm? Yes, she knows. She knows. <laughs> Has she got email? Yes, she got. She's got email there. Mm -hmm. Where at Nava? Yeah. Oh, that's very naughty of you, Valencia. <laughs> eh? <laughs> what do you do with yourself all day? I know she works yes, hard. Yes, something new for us. Eh? Yes, yes. Eh? Here we have Fraser House. Oh, no. Tailoring section. Oh, no. Tailor there. All the uniforms made here. Oh. Indian flag with no chakar on it. Okay, size 5. Get one, size 5. Barter. All butter shoes. SG. Best thing. Ashish. One towel. Black shoes. One white cats. Size three. Keep it on the ground. Keep it on the ground. Go and get your cats from Ashish. Take off your shoes. You have to take on. You have to wear it on. You have to wear one size to find out if it fits you or doesn't fit you. Next boy to get ready is Aaron Mason. One old student from Kalimpong, and that's the swimming pool. <coughs> Wrong colour, but uh, watch to her. There's no swimming at this time, that's for sure. Definitely not me, anyway. Too cold. All the Japanese sweet peas. Japanese sweet peas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that, eh? This greenhouse was presented by the Japanese. Delphiniums. Australian wildflower. Right, here we have the head gardener in the last seconds of the tape. The head gardener and all his assistants. Here's all the delphiniums. There's their vegetable garden. This is what the head gardener grew. Look, he made it with his own hands. All sitting in the water. Are you going to sell these to Singapore or Japan? Export? No? It's Holland. I don't Holland. know. You can... Holland. 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 You're sending it to Holland? Yes. Holland, Japan. Well, hmm. Centenary block. Built when, Robert? 1998. 1998. Open. No, lovely white stone. It's a lovely big place. Stands up. It's a lot of space. Yeah. Very big. Airy, spacious. Very nice. Mm. And all the beds not full up yet. No. 
a locker room in the centenary block. And here's somebody who likes flags. Israeli flag. It's a nice big field. It looks like it's sloping slightly that way. It does. So it's better to play off that way. You can get... The kindergarten, this where is probably... Lucy King. Lucy King. <laughs> where, where, who knows? Robert was here, or was I, I wonder. You were here, Robert, were you? Bingo. This is a little kiddie's playroom. Old King Cole is a merry old soul. So this building is the blue. The blue and there's the, the pink one down there. And Oh, is this for boys? Is it blue? No, no. Blue, uh, no, they're Anybody. all mixed, yeah. Mixed Anybody. Ages. So it's just the three different um, families. families. The blue, the pink and the green. green. As it says there, the blue family. All the toothbrushes, how sweet. <laughs> now this is the green family. Little Canadian flags. All the green beds. And this is the auntie's bed. No, this is the nurse's. The oh, the nurse's nurse. bed. Senior nurse, and this is the junior nurse. Out here. Okay. Who's been drinking from my cup? <laughs> Goldilocks. <laughs> <laughs> Some more. This is the green family, and over here we have all the luggage, the shoes, and the little shoes down there. Very. Um, no, Lisa is hiding. Yeah. What's her name? Andrea. Who will call Andrea? Where's Lisa? Andrea. Andrea. Who will call Andrea? Right, you need to talk a little louder. Jesus loves me. This so, I know. Yeah, so he knows that today. Okay, come on. <laughs> Ready, sing. Okay. One, two, three. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to live me long. The army back he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. <laughs> Yes, yes, Jesus, Jesus loves me. me. The Bible tells me so. Second one. Second one. Second one. Oh, here is the classification. That was very good. Also. Andrea yeah. and her sister. How old were you then? Two. Two. Two or one and a half? I think so, two. Two, no? I did 87. And your sister was younger than you. One thing she was one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so now Andrea's joined us. Andrea Boston. She joined us. Start singing.
Now, what are you going to sing now? Okay, they want to sing uh, building up the temple. Ready? One, two, come on. Building up the temple, building up the temple, building up the temple of the Lord. Mommy he wants to help me, Daddy he wants to help me. Building up the temple of the Lord. All right. Okay. So this is our candlelit dinner at a harbour. Have I got it right? A harbour? What? First of March. I wonder if they do a pinch and a thumb for the first of the month. Oh, they do all that. Yeah. And today is such a dreary day. And the examination starts this morning. Oh, dear. Yeah. The board exam. Yeah. Oh, there's the yellow rain capes. Yes. I went into the clothing store and all that. And young Robert took me all over the place. Oh, Robert Butters? Yes. Ah, he's a fine guy. He is. He really is a good boy. Yeah. I know, isn't it sad? But she's, somebody said, more like a doulet now. Yeah. Mm. Who knows, maybe when he grows up and gets himself settled, he might drag her out of it.
Wales run in the rain. There's one who brought a rumbarella, two. Oh, yes. It's a lovely school, this, isn't it? A beautiful school. <coughs> They're all very lucky indeed. The schools are not like this in England. Not as nice. Everyone in nice uniform, smartly dressed. The boys have blue with gold. No, blue and blue. Dark blue with light blue piping and uh, dark blue ties with uh, gold stripes. At first I thought it was green and blue, but uh, it's blue. Uh -huh. And there's Reverend John Johnson yes. now making his appearance. We fade out. Cabbage for lunch today. Meat and cabbage. Yeah, meat and cabbage curry. Yeah. I like meat and cabbage curry. It's very nice. So this is the vegetable preparation yeah. area. Yeah. Look at the big bake sheets. Look at all that rice. Oh, yeah. oh yes, yes. Oh, Plenty is, of rice. Uh, yes. And in here. In here is uh, some cooking can. Curry and dal. Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, that's the dal. Mm. Dal is good. And this is the curry? No. Not ready. Right, this is a storeroom. Yes. He's holding, opening out the uh, dal. Is that the dal? No, the jam. Jam? Yes. Okay. All the eggs are from the farm. Yes. Lots of the vegetables that you saw come from the farm. Yes, yes. Meat is from the town. Yeah. Rice is from the town. Yeah. There's all the eggs, you see, from the farm. Yes. Accounts. 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 Yes. Yeah. This is the dining room. Yes. 450 yes. children. Yeah. And, and this is the manager. And and your name is? Tony. Tony. Head cook. Head cook. Yeah. Head cook and bottle washer. <laughs> and this is is this staff? No, children's staff. Children. So lots of dining rooms. Yes. Mm -hmm. A general view of the campus. There's the office. But it's raining today. <laughs> Driving through, Kek, uh, driving through Kalimpong. It's a much more stable platform. The Lions Club. Of Kalimpong. This is the wool shop in Kalimpong. It's Robin and his wife. Now oh, he sits on his stool. That bright colors. Is weighed. Sold by weight. Yes. Yeah. 
The old lady carrying her load, all on her forehead. Really strong. <laughs> all right, you're all film stars now, okay? <laughs> eh? All film stars. And you're all going to have your hair cut, are you? Ball cutter? You can do Say something. Say something. Yeah. You're going to have your hair cut? Yes, sir. Yeah, good. You're going to have a short hair cut or? Short. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, mine will cut his ears off. Don't go too close to him. Don't push the Baba, his ears will go. Stay far from him. Right, here we are in a harbour. And this is my room. Very, very cold, no heating at all. I've taken the quilt off that bed and put it on this bed, duvet, and both the sheets. This one tucked in underneath here. Definitely not a place that Celine would be able to live in. One light. Typical street scene. In Kalam Pong. You see there's lots of schools here. Yeah? Shop shop. Woolen fabric. Look at the lorry. The jeep. Construction work. There's a host in there, Patty. Curtain material for a harbor. Yes. This 
scaffolding, Indian style. They will definitely fail the health and safety requirements in the UK. Sign of the cross just before he started climbing. You missed that little bit. That's Colonel Mike Hoffman. Hoffland, sorry. Physical street scene. I'm going to show you some plumbing now. And that's the plumbing for all those. <laughs> There's lots of these little narrow lanes everywhere. All the colourful clothes shops. And this fantastic plumbing arrangement everywhere you look. Pipes. Pipes going up. Coconut man. Vegetables. More fantastic plumbing. Everywhere you go, you have to walk up the. You walk down, then you gotta walk up. Now, this is a harbor, or Hebrew for love, and that's Robin Goodwin's van. And any minute now, we hope to see Patty come out. Thomas! Hello there. Oh yes. Oh, little Tom Tom. Hmm. Yes. Give us your tail. Come on. Give us a tail up in the air. That's it. That's it. Thomas. So, a harbour. We come up the stairs, and there's the long, there's the corridor. It's very dark. And there's me there. Down there, all polished floors. To the window. 
moment, which is called Steadfast. Going up the hill to Delo. Get a view of the school from up there. That's where. out a bit. Right, there we are. That's Barissa Cottage. And then we come down, that's the kindergarten, the building with the painting on the wall. Then there's the uh, school buildings, uh, the headmaster's office, I think. Yeah. Right, they come this side. You, you can just come, see the steeple of the bit. church. A little further you want to... Try again before the rain comes. Yeah. The school. You can just see the steeple of the church there. Yeah. And I'm hoping to get a picture of the church. Those buildings of the library where the children eat, etc. Yes. Yeah. And we've been a bit unlucky today with the weather because yes, it's all mist, all mist. It's all mist. And as we that's go around that that's side that's of the hill, Sikkim. Yeah. And as we go down there is Kalimpong, but it's getting more and more misty, yeah. so we have to call it a quit. What's the name of the church, um, Robin? Uh, it's in Margaret's or something, no? We'll eh? see it on the gate. Uh huh, it's on the, it's on the gate. Right. It's the Catherine Graham Memorial Chapel at Kalimpong. And it is beautifully restored quite recently and looking very nice indeed. And let's see the watchman and get inside. This is the other side of the church. I think a beam had fallen in and they spent apparently something around about 50 lakhs restoring the church and it's Beautiful. Inside the church.
nice purport. It's a very big church. Beautiful arches and a lovely timber roof. Last Supper. Last view of Dr. Graham's homes, Kellum Pong. Mr. Boxy. Yeah, Daddy Walla. What you got inside? Let me see. Colo, colo. Uh huh. No curry puffs? No curry puffs? Oh, there's curry puffs. Chili right, pops. chili puffs. Oh. Yeah, chili puffs. Okay, okay, all right. That's all. Don't take out. Don't take out. Oh. Only deco. The other day I kind of oh both at you. <laughs> yeah. And what's this one? Yeah. Nankatai. Ah, ah. Nankatai. Ah. Mm -hmm. Cream puffs. Ah, yeah. And nichi? Nichi bread. Bread. Sweet. Mm. Oh, acha. Sweet bread. Oh. Okay, okay. Mm. Ah. Five. Okay. Very the good. Ten. Yeah, and the curry puff kiss, sir? Three. Uh, three. Uh, three. How much money, sir? Thirty. Ah, Thirty three. rupees. Ah. No, three fifty. Rupees three, three and fifty paisa. Ah. Eh? Rupees three and fifty paisa. Rupees three, three and ah. fifty paisa ah. for one curry puff. Ah. Very good. Okay. Mere ah. ah. This is the memorial gardens. And what we see there is Dr. Graham's grave. And I don't know if his wife is there because we can't get in. We're here just too late. Uh, which seems to be the story of my visit here. <laughs> too late. Or too early. So it would have been nice to have gone round, but uh, we can't do it. I suppose tomorrow we have to leave at 7. So there's no chance. So that's it for Kalimpong. This is Mrs. Odling's grave. And that is... Guess who? Tell him. Yes, Robin. Robin what? 
Goodwin. Goodwin of the Goodwin Sands. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bye bye, Kalimpong. Right, now this is the holiday homes, Dr. Graham's holiday homes, holiday home for guests, um, old ex-students or homes people. And with that we have to sign off from Dr. Graham's homes. Are you eating up all your dinner? Yes. Yes? Are you being very good? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So if you eat up all your dinner, then you can come and watch the television, okay? You can come and watch the television and see yourself singing. Okay? We're in the Lucia King home now. Yes. The kindergarten for the tiny babies. The green, the blue, and the red. red. Pink. 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 Right. Now playing for us is? John. John. Kawas. John. Kawas. Kawas. And he's going to play for us and sing for us. What song, John? Oh, where is my boy tonight? Okay. You're on. Guide that 
falters and when he leads I can stray for step by step he goes before me and marks my path he knows the way he knows the way leads to glory by every fear he will allay and bring the same at last to heaven let Jesus lead he knows the way Sometimes the path goes dim and dreary and darkness hides the cheering ray. Still I would trust the worse and weary my Savior leads. He knows the way. He knows the way leads to glory by every fear he will allay and bring the same at last to heaven let Jesus lead he knows the way let Jesus lead
Bye-bye, children. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.